Hi, this Alessio. Hope you're well, and welcome to this update on Bitcoin. I hope you're enjoying your long holiday, your long weekend. And in this video, what I want to try and address is trying to answer, uh, try to answer a question which I think many of you are asking right now. I'm sure there's a lot of you who are asking, is Bitcoin likely to offer a second chance for people who might have missed out on the opportunity to buy at these lows? So, for example, people who might have wanted to buy at the 3000 level or maybe lower, is Bitcoin likely to offer a yet another chance to buy at these lows near the 3000 level? So I want to try and answer this question. So what I will do is I will try and answer it from two angles, the historical and the Elliott wave perspective. Firstly, I want to also, I think it's important to actually mention this too. In trading circles amongst traders, there's a very famous uh, saying. Uh, traders have a saying, which is this, markets can be generous with offering second and third chances, but they can be pretty stingy with offering fourth or fifth chances. OK, so what this essentially means is that markets do tend to provide second and third chances. They can be very generous with that. But if you uh, if you think they're going to offer you many, many chances along the line, no, they won't. Probably not. So let me just explain this to you, first of all, by looking at the historical perspective. What I have here is a chart of Bitcoin from the year 2015. Notice in the year 2015, when we had that massive bear market crash that we had here, as you can see, the 2014, this is a 2014 and 13 crash. So you see that bottomed out, it bottomed out of the year 2015. Okay, that was the major low of 2015. And here's something that I think is important to bear in mind. After Bitcoin made that huge low, notice, notice how many times it, it tried to get a rally going and it failed. Okay, so at least I would say two. So this was the first major attempt to get something going. This one failed. It came back to almost, well, it didn't come exactly to the lows, but it came almost to revisit the previous prior lows there. And then the second time round. Uh, so notice the second time round, it tried to get another rally going, as you can see here. This was a pretty significant, this was a pretty significant rally, as you can see there, okay? So I'm sure a lot of people back in 2015 thought that this rally was it. This is the big one. This is gonna become the, the major bull market in Bitcoin. But of course it wasn't. You can see what happened there. This one also failed. And as a matter of fact, this low that Bitcoin made in the year 2015 came almost not exactly to the previous lows it made in January 2015, but it came it came pretty close, as you can see there. All right. In fact, it lost one third of its value, you can see there, and it came back almost to the previous low. So you can say almost this was like a second or third chance that Bitcoin offered before finally it bottomed out and started the major bull market rally. By the way, this does not just happen in Bitcoin. It happens in other markets too. For example, like gold. Gold did the exact same thing. Uh, after the major crash that it had in the year 2013 and made a low here, here's what happened. In fact, I know this because I remember it quite well. After gold made a second bottom, okay, you see this bottom right there? And it did a rally here. Everyone thought, pretty much everyone thought this was the big major bull market rally. Why? Because it was a double bottom pattern. But guess what? This rally failed, as you can see here. Okay, so that rally failed. Look, it fell apart pretty soon after. And actually, it made new lows. Take a look at that. It made fresh new lows. And then guess what? It did another attempt, another attempt to get some rally going. And that one also failed. Okay, and the funny thing is this was very exasperating because it kept making lower. Look at this. This one also, this rally also failed to get again. So this was a lot of exasperation until finally, finally, gold said, you know what? Okay, finally, I'm going to start the bull market. As you can see, finally started the bull market rally there. But it, this is the thing, guys. Uh, often markets do not bottom until they exasperate. They exasperate a lot of people out, especially the buyers. Okay, and you can see what happened there. If you just look at it in this perspective, guys. Uh, that is precisely what gold did. That was the low after the major crash that it had, the bear market. That was the low. And then it's several failed rallies, several failed rallies. And again, we've seen this happen in Bitcoin as well. All right, guys, so let's take a look now at this chart. So that's the historical perspective. Let's take a look now at the other perspective, what I would call the Elliott wave perspective. So there's a second major reason why Bitcoin could actually offer a second chance for folks who might have missed out on the opportunity to buy near lows of 3000 or even lower than 3000. OK, so the other reason uh, is to do with Elliott wave theory. Uh, before I explain this chart, let me just bring up this chart here. 
Okay, so what you're seeing here is a diagram showing Elliott wave theory. Elliott wave theory simply says that markets tend to trend in five waves. In other words, markets tend to move in the direction of the major trend in five waves, after which they see a major correction. Now, if we just take a look at this chart here, which I have on MT4. Now, this is a specific time frame I'm using here, uh, which you may not have used. Uh, for example, this is what I'm what I'm using here is a D2 chart, a D2 time frame. In other words, a two-day time frame. So every bar that you see here, guys, is a, is two days of market data, all right, or a D2 chart. And what I've done here is I put on my chart our own LT Elliott Waves indicator. And what you can see here is that, so what we're seeing here is that the wave five of the last major bull market topped, as we can see, near 20,000. And since that level, since the wave five top, we've had a ABC market correction, okay? So we've had a... Uh, indeed, what we're seeing here is a correction. So even though this has been a pretty strong downward trend, on a higher time frame, on a two-day time frame that I'm looking at here, this actually also happens to be an ABC correction. Okay, so what does it mean? It means that if we are at present in the C wave, and by the way, I don't think the C wave has yet completed. All right, so I, st I still think the C wave is in progress and it has not yet completed, which means what? Which means that currently in this C wave, we are likely forming wave four, okay? So I think that at present, what we're dealing with here is still the wave four corrective move in Bitcoin. If you think about it, if the drop that we had, by the way, this time frame looking at this is a time frame which is very close to the daily time frame. So it's a lower time frame chart. So that means if you think about it, if the lows we made in December was the wave three low, so far we're dealing with an ABC wave four move, okay? And I, I think currently we're still in the C wave of the wave four, which is not yet completed by the looks of it. Uh, but I think uh, potentially in the next few months, we might complete this wave four eventually. So if you think about it on this chart that I'm looking at here, uh, this essentially, what this means is that once the wave four, in other words, once the C wave of the wave four completes, then potentially we could be setting up for a wave five move lower to retest the previous lows of wave three, okay? And indeed potentially take them out. And if you think about that on this chart, that means once this wave four potentially completes in the next few months, then we could be setting up for that larger mega wave five move, okay? So if you think about wave four potentially completing somewhere uh, in this region, then we could be setting up for that wave five move lower. Uh, towards the previous lows of wave three and potentially taking out those lows. Uh, again, we've seen before, as I've just explained to you, we've seen plenty of examples where Bitcoin offers second and third chances. So in a nutshell, I think the current rally we're seeing in Bitcoin, I don't think this is the start of a new bull market. And I'll explain to you in another video why I don't think this is the start of a new bull market. There's actually some other important reasons behind this. Uh, but the bottom line is that I think that once this potential probable wave four completes, we could see the start of the wave five move. And then we'll likely see uh, Bitcoin markets finally bottoming out. All right, guys, hope this video helps. If it has, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe, please, for future video updates. Bye for now.